In the early days of the crisis in this boardroom, you and the committee lowered interest rates essentially to zero. Would you lower them further into negative territory, which the President has suggested is a good idea? Around this table during the, during the last crisis and during the recovery, uh, we looked at negative interest rates, and it's something we decided not to do. We used other tools instead. And those tools involved forward guidance about the federal funds rate and also lots of uh, asset purchases or quantitative easing, as it's uh, often referred to. I continue to think, and my colleagues on the Federal Open Market Committee continue to think, that uh, negative interest rates is, is probably not an appropriate or useful policy for, for us here in the United States. And why not? The president seems to think it would help. The evidence on whether it uh, helps is quite mixed. The issue is um, people would be depositing money in the bank and, and, and that money would be shrinking. They'd, they'd be paying interest to put their money in the bank. So uh, it's not a particularly popular policy, as you can imagine. But in addition, it, it can also de tend to depress uh, the profitability of banks, which makes them likely to lend less, which weighs on economic growth. So I would just say it's not, it's not at all settled in, uh, you know, in economic analysis that negative rates really add much value. I think the idea of negative interest rates is something that a lot of people have a difficult time getting their head around. Would you explain it to me? Well, rather than being paid interest on your cash, you pay interest to the bank. If you borrow money, they pay you to borrow money, and if you, if you lend them money by putting it in a bank, then uh, they pay you money. So the banks would pay people to borrow money, essentially. Yes. And that would conceivably cause more business and commerce to happen. It would. But, you know, this, this has been tried. We have negative policy rates in many countries around the world as a result of the financial crisis. And there's, there's no clear finding that it actually does support economic activity on net. And it, it introduces distortions into the financial system, which I think offset that. So, you know, there, there are plenty of people who think net, uh, negative interest rates are, are a good policy. But... Uh, we don't really think so at the Federal Reserve, and I think there's a, it's, it's an area of real uncertainty in the, in the central banking world.